How long does it take a chaga to grow? About a hundred years. They're rare. They're very slow growing. And what I was taught was that you would use chaga maybe once in your lifetime. You sure don't put it in your coffee. Okay. This makes my skin crawl when I hear people using chaga this way. Not so much because it might be hurting you, but because it hurts our relationship with the mushrooms. It's How are they producing so much of it to How mass sell it? How are they producing so much? That's Maybe it's something else. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're growing it organically in China, <laughs> but not for a hundred years. That's just what I'm saying. Deplete the forest. Yeah. They're just out there. All, I, yeah. and I, it, it does, it's not just my land. I'm not yeah. saying, oh, this is, it has nothing to do with me. Everyone I know now has no mushrooms. They've gone away and they're not going to play with us anymore. I don't know if they've gone away or if people have harvested them, but... I didn't just, find any this year. I looked. And we've had enough rain. After rains, yeah. Some, something going on. It's true. With our relationship with the mushrooms. Mm. There were no yeah. mushrooms this year. Yeah, and we need to really take a step back and think, what is what is happening here? How how do we reconnect in a way that that benefits all? Because that's what we want. We want benefit for all beings, right? Mm. So you're saying we shouldn't be consuming chaga just because it's a sustainability, or it's not? I am saying, I, do, I personally, it's my opinion mm. that we should stop consuming chaga. Mm. Just because it's a sustainability? Because of sustainability, because I because I don't think there's any more wild chaga. Well, not any more do your own chaga. research then on your provider and how they're right? producing and, and it. You I have guess to figure out what like, the chaga you're taking. Where's it coming from? Well, yeah, I to harvest my chaga and process it and make my own powder. Right. You do. Enough. That's cool. Okay. Great. For the rest of your life. <laughs> so that's <laughs> fine. So She's putting such a small that. amount in, but a why, little pinch. Why are you using chaga? love mushrooms and hmm. reishi is so much more available and not in my woods ah but so I there's mean, a lot of chaga in your woods yeah, there's one i mean there was there was one, one. right that's right. what i had i had one or two one. Mm -hmm. but i had i've only seen reishi once and when i found it it was too far gone so it was all riddled with yeah it was, yeah. I was like i don't even know what that is and <laughs> yeah um so yeah, no, I just, it was literally the first mushroom I ever heard of. Oh my gosh, oh, how marvelous, oh. Very special. Very um, special, yeah. No, I thought you were going to Starbucks. No. Because you can get chocolate in your coffee yeah. at Starbucks. Really? 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 Oh my gosh. I didn't, because I didn't. So thank you, thank you for set, setting me at ease. Yeah. I really hear you. Yeah, yeah that's, very lucky to have yeah. Quite a bit of chaga in oh. Oh, how wonderful. Whew. You don't have to break up with her. <laughs> I was not going to break up with her anyhow. No, her with the plant, with the mushroom. With the mushroom not, <laughs> not you and her. And chaga. Her and chaga every morning yeah. together over coffee. I requested powdered turkey tails yeah. from a group that I am on the board of. Uh -huh. And I received a bag. They were out of turkey tail powder. And so instead they sent me a bag of chaga powder. <laughs> Which is odd. But what would you what would you do with it to share it like mix it with other mushroom powders and what would it's I, like it's I tell you what or, I, what you're asking thing? me what I would do with it I would send it back mm, okay. I would okay. send it back people have okay. attempted to give me chaga and I won't accept it I would send it back and say no I'm sorry mm. I, I don't use chaga mm. I was told that you use chaga if someone had terminal cancer, if they've been mauled by a bear, mm. if they're like, you know, they're so arthritic, they can't like move anything. Um, this is like the, ex the mushroom that you use in the greatest possible adversity in extremis mm. because it's so rare. Mm. So we use what's rare rarely and we use what's more common more commonly. Mm. It's always made sense to me. 
to do that. But I'm so happy that you harvested well, this so chaga, funny. and it is yeah, yours, and it is truly your companion. Was like, I'm here for you. For you, it's <laughs> totally, and it's like, totally, totally. If you're going to harvest one thing this year, it's let this. it be me. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, yeah. And you nice. It and how did it how did how you lovely. So I. I dried it in small chunks and then... Oh, so you cut it up first. I cut it up first. <coughs> I, I knew enough because from that. Because chaga makes rishi seem like marshmallow. Right. Oh. And then I <laughs> soaked it overnight to rehydrate. And then I put... I cooked it in a pot of water down for a long time. Long. And then... More than a day? I put... Longer than a day, I think. Two like, days, three days? I want to say I put it in the slow cooker for at least 24 hours. Yeah. And then I took like equal parts mushroom and the water and blended it into a paste and then I put it in my oven on parchment paper of the lowest setting with wow. the door opened. It was a it was like a week long. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. No wonder you're not using it up fast. Right. Well, <laughs> That's why we should make things so we appreciate the value. And I have like over a quart jar. <gasps> Fabulous! So, so much. That's powder. great. That's the other thing I like about using the powder, mm -hmm. is that it's so conservative of the plant material. Mm -hmm.